Hello, my wonderful artists. Back by popular demand, we're going to do some more animal shapes. I had something else planned, but I never get requests for more, so more you want, more you get. Okay, let's start with a landscape or hot dog sheet of paper, just like you see here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and fold it in half, just like we did last rotation. I'm going to give it a nice crease along the right side, doing the best I can, and then I'm going to fold the bottom to the top. Going to make sure these corners match up and then give it another crease. And you'll know that if you did it correctly because when you open your paper back up, you will have that plus sign of creases. One that goes from top to bottom, one that goes from side to side. Let's get started with our first animal shape. We're going to start in the top left square. Great. Okay, so I'm going to get out a light blue colored pencil. Feel free to use crayon or another kind of blue for this first animal. Let's see if you can guess what it is. I'm going to start, of course, with a square. That's right, a square. I'm going to draw it lightly, and then inside my square, I'm going to draw two circles. I'm going to try and get these circles to be about the same size. Just do my best. And then after that, I'm going to put a vertical oval in between and below my circles. Also, it's going to be a great idea to go ahead and put that semicircle on the side. I'm going to start at the top, but I'm not going to go quite all the way down to the bottom of my square. I'm just going to put two semicircles on either side, and then I'm going to draw two smaller semicircles, or just a curved line inside the first two that I drew. Awesome! Okay, you know what it's time for. Let's get to coloring. Now, of course, my video is in fast forward. I want you to take your time. Remember your coloring, craftsmanship, and color everything except the two circles, the oval, and the two smaller semicircles. So color exactly what you see here and no more because we're going to use a different color in just a second here. Nice. Great job. Great job. Now I'm going to get out my black marker, put in some pupils, color in the nose. That's right. It's a big nose. And I think you know what I'm drawing right now. Now I'm going to get out a red colored pencil, and I'm going to do two ovals and give this animal a little bit of a blush. Can you guess what it is? I think you know what it is. And then I'm going to lightly color inside the smaller semicircles. And you know what? You've got yourself one good looking koala. Great job. It's now time to go to the top right corner of our paper. Let's keep going. I'm going to get out a red, a red colored pencil. And I'm going to start by drawing a large triangle that looks like it points to the left side. Now inside this triangle, I'm going to draw four vertical lines. And I'm going to try to space them out. So here's one vertical line, two, spacing it out, three. And I need exactly four. So here's my longest vertical line. Great job. My next step is I'm going to draw a smaller triangle, just a smaller one. And I'm pretty sure that those of you who remember this from last rotation, you already know what this animal is. I'm going to draw three quick vertical lines in my smaller triangle, as you can see here. Okay, now it's time for me to color in, but I got to color in in a very specific way. So I'm going to start with this first rectangle shape, and I'm going to skip rectangles. Then when I get to this middle rectangle shape in my larger triangle, I'm going to stop and I'm going to draw a circle for the eye. Yep, a circle right in the center. And then I'm going to color around that circle and definitely color the very tip of the triangle on the left side. Okay, your next step, get out an orange colored pencil, and I want you to color in the spaces that were left uncolored. Mm-hmm, you know what this animal is, don't you? Okay, I'm going to get out a black marker, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line, just a little one at the tip, fill in the pupil, and definitely put in some circles. Larger ones at the bottom, and as I go up the paper, smaller and smaller. I'm going to do the same thing at the front of the large triangle because this is a fish. Nice fish. It's time to now go toward the bottom left corner of my paper. We're going to start on the next animal. Now, I know I may be going a little bit fast, but that's okay. You can always pause the video and catch up. Go at your own pace. Get out a green colored pencil or crayon and draw another triangle, but this one, this one points down, not to the side like our fish. It points down with a flat top. Your next step, give me two more triangles that point up, but smaller ones on the top side that are on both sides. Okay, okay. 
Next step. Now I'm going to draw two circles, again for animal eyes. Hmm. What is this animal? Be careful, because it might not be what you're thinking. Okay, two circles on the inside of my biggest triangle. And I'm going to draw a very small horizontal line at the bottom. Now I'm going to draw two more diagonal lines from the top corners of my big triangle that go down like a, a slide on the playground. After that, I'm going to turn them into semicircles. So I'm going to do two curves. And then I'm going to color in the two semicircles. And everything that's in the big triangle except for the circles and that bottom part. It's now time to get out your black marker again. And I'm going to draw two horizontal lines inside of the triangles, those small ones that are at the top. These are going to be horns. Hmm, I think that's a dead giveaway for what this animal is. Your next step, draw two small circles for pupils. Mm-hmm, one and two inside those blank white circles that we left. Now for the nose. I'm going to do a little baby letter U and then a vertical line from the letter U down and then a bigger letter U, a curved line that makes a smiley face. Oh boy. And then three small lines because goats have these little beards. That's right. It's a goat. Great, great job. Alrighty, it's now time for the last square. I'm excited. Okay. Get out a black crayon or colored pencil. And I want you to start by drawing a circle. I'm going to do the best I can. Even if it's not a perfect circle, that's totally okay. I want you to just do your best. Yeah, mine's not totally perfect, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going with it. Now that I've drawn out this circle, I need to now do two smaller circles at the top. So I'm going to do one over here on the upper left side of my big circle, and then one on the upper right side of my big circle. Hmm, what could this animal be? Let's keep going. My next step is I'm going to draw a circle on the inside of my big circle. Two of them, actually, for eyes. I'm going circle crazy. Look at that. Okay, okay. What's next? This time I'm going to very carefully draw ovals around my eyes. And they go in opposite directions. They go down and to the left and down and to the right. Very important detail. Okay, time to color in. I'm going to start with my ear and then my other ear. That's right. And then just the inside of my ovals. I'm not going to color inside the eyes on both sides. Nice. Okay, time for my black marker. All right, so I'm going to do the pupils. And then after that, I'm going to draw in a small sideways oval for the nose. Oh, you know what this is. You know what this is. Now just a small vertical line down from my oval and a smiley face. And that's right, you've got yourself a panda. Oh, I love my little panda. It's so cute with that little button nose. And then I'm going to take out a red colored pencil, draw a letter U, and then a little bit more of a vertical line down and color it in real quick because my panda's sticking out its little baby tongue. I love it. I love it. And there you go. You have drawn four amazing animals using basic shapes. How does yours look? I hope you enjoyed it since I got so many requests to do a second round. But now it's time for my, my artist challenge. 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 Alrighty, artists, are you ready for round three? I have four new shape animals, only this time I'm not going to tell you how to make them. I want you to take a very, very close look at these awesome animals, and I want you to use your artist's eyes and figure out what shapes did I use to put these together. Can you do it? Now, this extra challenge is not graded, but if you want to give it a try, please give it a try because I would love to see your work afterward. Well, I want you to take a picture, upload any artwork you do to Seesaw, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.